What is college coursework? Coursework refers to assignments done by students within their field of study. It is meant to demonstrate the student's growth and partially fulfill their degree requirements. Whether you are in an undergraduate course or on the PhD level, you will handle several types of coursework before you attain your academic qualification, so it is important for you to understand the different types there are and how to handle them. What is the importance of college coursework? For centuries, students have understood that they will undertake coursework when they enroll in college. However, the reasons for college assignments are often understated. This should not be the case seeing as how coursework is integral to one's career and knowledge. As such, our college coursework help experts would state that the reasons coursework is provided are 1. To increase your analytical skills, coursework provides you with several pieces of information which you are required to analyze and provide your educated perspective on. This also improves your critical thinking skills and exposes you to new information which you can analyze to uncover the truth too. Boost your knowledge, the more coursework you handle, the more concepts that are relevant to your course that you are aware of. Over time, you will learn a lot after handling these college and university assignments and you can be sure that the knowledge will accumulate over time. Increasing your knowledge. At times, you may get it wrong, especially if the question does not call for your opinion but focuses on facts. However, even failure may lead you to learn since you understand what to write and what not to. 3. Help with new discoveries in that field. Coursework requires you to perform research on a particular topic. At times, you may even be required to gather your own data and formulate a conclusion based on the information acquired. This can lead to new discoveries and contributions in that field of study. For example, you may be tasked with writing an essay on the psychological effects of parental neglect on children throughout their lives and your research leads you to discover that this leads to poor coping mechanisms such as drug addictions. If you are having trouble with this, don't hesitate to seek help from our coursework writing services. What are the different types of coursework? Since coursework involves all the work a student may handle in their studies, it is varied. As such, a student will come across the following types of coursework in their studies. 1. Essay. An essay refers to an analytical, critical, or interpretive literary composition that focuses on a particular topic. Essays differ in length, with some being one page while others span several. They fall into different categories such as argumentative, expository, narrative, and descriptive, depending on their purpose. This is the most common form of coursework you will handle, too. Research paper. A research paper is similar to an essay but is expanded and seeks to interpret and evaluate. Usually, it is eight pages long and asks for an in-depth look at a topic. A research paper is also formal and has no room for creativity but focuses on facts. It is also important to utilize research methods in a research paper, such as qualitative or quantitative methods to extract data. 3. Term paper. A term paper is written by students as a culmination of the term studies. Since a term normally covers a part of the curriculum, a term paper contributes to a significant part of your grade. Your teacher will use this opportunity to assess your knowledge and growth over time, so it is important to focus on writing this essay properly. 4. Thesis. This is a long-form piece of research writing that allows students to showcase the skills learned in a master's degree program. Unlike a normal essay, the thesis statement carries a lot of weight and supports your candidature for a master's degree qualification. When presented with a thesis paper, one should compile and present already known information on a topic. It should demonstrate your in-depth knowledge of the topic and usually spans 100 pages. 5. Dissertation. While a thesis is similar to a dissertation, a dissertation is a long-form essay that is presented to earn a doctoral degree. Unlike a thesis, a dissertation seeks to contribute new research and form new theories based on the research made. For this reason, it uses qualitative and quantitative research to collect data on a topic and then bases its theories on the information and results. Normally, a dissertation is 300 pages in length, as many students struggle with it. However, you don't have to worry about this since our firm offers affordable dissertation writing services. 6. Practicals. For those studying technical majors such as chemistry and biology, practical exams and lessons are quite common. 
This is because having practical knowledge they can apply in real life is integral to them being well-rounded future employees. The results found can be used in essays and other assignments later to reinforce or formulate new theories that contribute to the subject. These are the main types of coursework you are likely to handle, irrespective of your major. However, you may be presented with a combination of these to assess a variety of skills. For example, your instructor may present you with an essay and practical test that requires you to do the practical and then write an essay. This tests your observational, analytical, and argumentative skills, hence instructors enjoy this as it forms well-rounded students. How do I structure a coursework project? While there are several types of coursework, there is a general structure you should adhere to that helps you present your arguments properly and coherently, which is 1. Introduction. Begin by providing a bit of context on the topic and the reason for the paper. In a practical, it could be the experiment about to be conducted, its purpose, and the expected results. For a thesis, dissertation, essay, research paper, and term paper should also present a thesis statement that states the main argument of your paper. 2. Body. After this single paragraph, present your core arguments and provide evidence if required. Evidence in coursework is provided using references, which refer to text that influences your points. To cite them, you may use APA, MLA, Chicago, IEEE, or Harvard citation style depending on your instructor's preference or your major. Be sure to separate the points into different paragraphs to improve the paper's readability. 3. Conclusion. Finish up your assignment by presenting and briefly summarizing your main points and tying them together. This section should also show why your argument and the content presented matter. You may close off with a question for your reader that provokes further thought or discussion in the future. How do I do well in coursework? While the structure may be relatively easy to grasp, coursework requires more than just a generic structure. As such, we have compiled a list of useful pointers students can benefit from using in the following list. 1. Organize and plan. Some coursework requires in-depth research, while others, such as practical assignments, require you to prepare your equipment. In both instances, time management is integral and prevents you from handling the work in a rush and ruining it. Research requires you to peruse several books and websites and collect data that informs your arguments, so be sure to manage your time properly, too. Comprehend the topic before you begin. Read through the entire question and understand what it seeks from you. Some questions may be phrased in a way that requires you to read them properly to answer correctly. For guidance on tricky questions, feel free to contact us for expert coursework help. 3. Form a draft. Once you understand what the coursework requires from you, be sure to form a draft with your selected points that best reinforce your argument. This also ensures that you have a coherent flow of ideas, beginning with the strongest point that best showcases your perspective. 4. Avoid plagiarism. Plagiarism is a serious offense that can cost you marks. However, students only know of direct plagiarism, where a student copies directly from another source. But you can also be penalized for self-plagiarism, where you do not cite your earlier works, or accidental plagiarism where you neglect to cite the sources. Doing this shows a lack of caution when writing, hence is detrimental to your reputation. 5. Check to see that it meets all the requirements. Once complete, look through the instructions again to see if your paper aligns with these requirements. These include the word count, page length, citation style, number of references, deadline required, and topic covered. While these may seem obvious, failure to apply these requirements can lead you to lose marks. 6. Proofread and edit. Before you submit, be sure to look through your essay for any logical or grammatical errors. Correct them and proceed since they can affect the quality of your essay and lower your marks. While you may use software such as Grammarly to check for errors, you still need to read through it physically since the AI used is not perfect and may miss certain items.